officially on rope man. Come on, kids, help me scan a car on the front lawn. You go, Clay. Brother says you're very good for me. I'm afraid I'm no good for you. I have 13 tickets now. Is that enough? Oh, sorry, Timmy, but you need 15 tickets for this. Cigarette? No, Dad. Then he's lying. There's no doubt about that. Greg, I'm afraid your punishment will be four hours in the snake pit. Maybe that'll give you some time to think about what you've done. Oh, man. That'll teach him. And, Jan, I'm afraid you've earned a day in the Chamber of Fire for tattling on your brother. Ah, uh, smoking. How did a boy like that go so wrong? Well, I live in a crummy neighborhood. Brady's? Oh, hell yeah. They got Bravis, Thugs, drug dealers. Yeah, you name it. You folks want some fair drink? No, thank you. See, that's the worst we got. It's uh, Jemima's Witnesses. It seems today that all you see is violence in movies and sex on TV. But we're in those good old-fashioned values on which we used to rely. Lucky there's a family guy. Lucky there's a man who positively can do all the things that make us laugh and cry. too thin. Can I please get collagen injections? Nay, you don't need to change the way you look. You know, most of the world's problems stem from poor self-image. <laughs> Excellent. The mind control device is nearing completion. Stewie, I said no toys at the table. Damn you, my woman! You've impeded my work since the day I escaped from your wretched womb. Oh, don't pout, honey. You know, when you were born, the doctor said you were the happiest-looking baby he'd ever seen. Oh, of course. That was my victory day. The fruition of my duly laid plans to escape from that cursed ovarian bass field. Return the device for me. No toys, Stewie. Very well, honey. Mark my words. When you least expect it, your puppets will come. Mom, can I turn the heat up? Oh, don't touch the thermostat, Meg. Your father gets upset. Come on, this thing goes up to 90. What about your thermostat? God, how does he always know? Brain implant, Meg. Every father's got one. Tells you when the children are messing with the dial. Hey, Peter, my thing went off. Your thermostat okay? Yeah, it's all right. Hey, Mike, get over here. Forget it. False alarm. Whoa, asshole. Hey, uh, Peter, it's 7 o'clock and you've still got your pants on. What's the occasion? He's going to a sack party. Now, Lois, I worked hard all week to provide for this family. I am the man of the house, and as the man, I order you to give me permission to go to this party. Well, at least promise me you won't drink. Alcohol always leads to trouble. Come on, you're worrying about nothing. Oh, remember when you got drunk off the communion wine at church? And so the Lord God smoked for Joe with festering boils all over his body. Oh, man, I hate it when he tells the story. Yet, miraculously, Job was still able to retain his dignity. <laughs> Whoa, was that really the blood of Christ? Yes. Man, that guy must have been wasted 24 hours a day, huh? And then there was that time at the ice cream store. Ah, butter runs my favorite. <laughs> and remember you had an Irish coffee the day we went to see Philadelphia? <laughs> Tom Hanks, that's it. Ah, funny guy, Tom Hanks. Everything he says is 